So today we're reviewing Toy Story 4. We just got back from watching Toy Story 4 and we have the guest star today, our grandma, Sharon. And uh, Megan was not able to make it. But anyways, what were your initial thoughts about Toy Story 4? Grandma, why don't you go first? I enjoyed it, but I think it was my least favorite of the four. Hey Jake, I, I would second think? that opinion. I, I think it was a really good uh, movie. Uh, I wrote on many flaws about it, but it definitely just, I don't think it was on the perfect level that the first three were, but it definitely wasn't like a huge uh, drop off. I think it was just about a little bit below it, the other three probably. And we'll get to those reasons as we talk. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't think it's the, I definitely think it's below the first three, but the first three are perfect. I think there's a lot to like in this movie, but yeah, it's definitely not to the level of the perfect trilogy, which I didn't expect it to be. There's definitely a lot to like, so I definitely liked it, but obviously it's not a perfect movie like the other three. So let's start out with our positives. What are what are the things we liked about the movie? So for me, the positives again are the characters. They really do a, a great job of making these characters just like enjoyable to watch. The special effects are really good in this movie. Everything's like so real. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, there was a lot of, I liked a lot of the new characters that they brought in, especially two in particular, these two here. Uh, yeah. They were good. I, I always point like this because we'll like put the picture oh, in there. Yes, <laughs> I'm looking at that. <laughs> the one thing with, about these movies is there's always like a really like uh, emotional and impactful scene. I don't think it was a scene at the level of things in other movies, but there's always just things that you can connect to. Like when you feel for like the, uh, just the toys being left behind, not being played with. Uh, it was just non spoiler so we won't spoil anything. Yeah. So, and well, so the characters, the special effects, and... Uh, well, Graham, what are you... What are okay, you positive? my favorite part, and I don't want to spoil it, what, but was finding out what happened to a previous character. You, you can say that one, honestly, because you see it in the trailers. Find out where Bo has been. What happened? I have always wondered, where is Bo? What happened to Bo? And that, we found that out. That was my favorite part, and I can't talk and quit laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know. Yeah, I agree. And there was I, I a that. sad part. With At her? the end, I thought it was sad. So, I sad and not about. sad. But I mean, I was sad at the end. I didn't cry. Not like Toy Story 3. Yeah. Yeah. You Not cried. Like yeah. I did cry in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, definitely for positives. I definitely agree with the visuals were amazing. I mean, they were like so good. They looked like real toys there. There's one point where, like, the pipe cleaner from the character I know you didn't like, <laughs> it touched, like, someone else, it looked like a real pipe cleaner, which I don't think it was, because it's all animation. And, like, the rain in certain scenes was, like, amazing, so the visuals were top-notch. And, yeah, the characters were great. I liked what, I liked the finding out what happened to certain characters, like you said, and I liked the new characters they introduced for sure, that I don't even know what their names are. Yeah, the, oh, these guys you were pointing out, pointing out to before that poster's falling. <laughs> No, but, uh, ah! I was gonna say uh, about my, my one of my pause. Like I couldn't think of it the last time. It's just uh, just seeing the same characters on screen and just the evolution of these characters. Like Woody from the first movie, when he was jealous of Buzz, to now seeing that relationship between him and Buzz just continue to grow is really cool. And uh, as well as just seeing characters that we've seen since for a long time. So yeah, that, that, that definitely kind of wraps up our positives without being spoilers. <laughs> you want me to do our negatives? I, well, you're right about Buzz, though. I want to add, not Buzz, <laughs> Woody. Yeah. He really has evolved if you oh, think yeah. about him in the yeah. first one, and this time he cares about everybody. Yeah. People, I think, don't care about that person. Yeah, no, it's I exactly, don't yeah. care. And honestly, <laughs> it really it, it just shows that, like, I, I, I heard some other reviewers say, like, just said there's always lessons to be learned. Like, you think at the end of each movie, like, he's, like, perfect and he knows what he's doing. But yeah. at this movie, he's still kind of, like, dealing with uh, finding purposes. He's not being played with. You saw that in the beginning when he doesn't get picked yeah. out of the closet. And, uh, yeah, so just kind of just the storylines. It's, ama it's amazing how they keep, like, tapping into, like, just new storylines that just seem, like, nothing in this movie seemed, like, rehashed. Like, that's why I was worried, like, yeah. are they going to do the same thing over and over again? But this is really... I mean, I, I don't. I, nothing pops out right now after seeing it one time that they like. Oh, it's, I've seen it before. It's nothing new. That's so. true. Yeah. And they introduced a new element with toys from like a carnival. Yeah. And I, I'll I'll start out with because I don't have any negatives. I'll start out with the negatives. One of the negatives was that certain characters got 
kind of left off to the side, but it's kind of a counteract to the positive because I liked new characters we saw. Like, I mean, Bo Peep really didn't get to see anything really of her in the original. I mean, she didn't really do anything. And you got to see a lot more of her. And the new characters, the dummies, which were scary. I know you didn't like them, but they were interesting. And it was an interesting, like... You gotta get scared. Yeah, it was a very interesting... There were some great scenes with them. Some characters were overshadowed, and certain characters didn't get any lines. I'm not going to say which ones they are. I guess it might be spoilers, but certain characters definitely get left to the side. So, for the Which negatives, uh, as far as the new characters go, I think I liked every new character except... I was I was not a big fan of uh, Forky. I, nothing against him. I just... I, I didn't really like... Like, out of all the new characters, he's probably my least favorite new character. Uh, I'll get into the ones and the spoilers of which ones I like better. But, yeah, that stuff, I, I wasn't, like, loving it 100%. And then also, I didn't like how they kind of... I mean, it's hard with as many characters as, as they have, but there were definitely characters, like Kenny said, that got left to the side and had, like, maybe one or two lines that we'll talk about in spoilers. Here's my only... Yeah. My, my biggest complaint, though, is one I can't say in the non-spoiler, and I'll save that for the spoilers. My negative... Forky really bothered me in the beginning, but he grew on me, so... Uh, okay, okay. Oh, you're a Forky fan now. I didn't say I was a fan. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, as far as negatives go, I said how certain characters got overshadowed, but I said it kind of was counteracted with a positive because you introduce more characters, new characters, which they should have because they've already had a perfect trilogy with these characters, so you needed to introduce more, but I really can't think of many other negatives. It seemed like the, did this movie seem long or short to you? Like was, nothing drug for me. No, yeah, nothing. Just, no. I mean, it's just the visuals are so great to look at. It's like everything looks so real. And I liked the little action figure guys I was saying. They were like the, I don't know if those were, well, uh, guys were high five each other. Those those yeah. Spoilers. Action figures high five each other? That's no, that's not. Okay, that not. spoiler, action figures high five each other. But I liked <laughs> those little guys, but. I like the carnival. Like There's a, a carnival front. in it. I yeah. really like the carnival. Yeah. I definitely, I mean, I also, well, yeah, I know. This, that was a good setting. Yeah, very that good happened setting. There. And that's really the main setting. Let's just we, let's just give our scores, and then we're gonna start talk more openly about everything that went half, that went down and stuff. So I guess for my score, I'm just kind of thinking like right now. It's kind of I've been building it since we got out of the theater, and this one, like I said, it isn't on the same. It's not as good as the first three, but it's still really good. And because of that lacking, not to the ten out of ten that I think it, uh, the other three were, I would give this movie a very solid nine point five out of ten. I agree with that. I do a nine point five. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things I really can't talk about in non spoilers as to why I give my grade a certain way, but just to be very broad, a way that something happens in this movie, I think, kind of brings it down a little bit. So you know, I guess I'll give it a nine point five out of ten as well, because it is really good. Except just comparing it to the other movies, it just seems like theirs are so much more complete. And I just feel like something is missing for being a perfect movie. In this, I mean, a ten out of ten would be perfect. And that point, and I don't still think pretty it's, good. Yeah, it's still pretty good, but it's not perfect. There's a lot of things I like though. So nine point five all around. I don't know what I'd change though. I don't know how I'd make it perfect. Yeah, yeah, I, I just liked it. I'll, I'll talk about it in spoilers, but it's something to do with something. Yeah. So <laughs> nine point five is across the board. We uh, give it a Sharon's approval. Yeah, uh, thumbs up. Uh, yeah, Sharon's <laughs> thumb, thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching our non-spoiler review of Toy Story Four. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.